What's up guys? Alright, so today we're going to be doing some more work on the uh, the 1JZ. Um, today we're going to be taking off the torque converter finally. And we're going to remove the fuel injectors, as you can see right there. And then, let's see, I may take off the uh, air condition compressor, AC compressor, but I'm not totally sure. Alright guys, so, but basically what's going on right now is as you can see the uh, engine hoist is not going to fit um, in order to pick up the engine so I can remove the torque converter so I'm going to have to get a tractor and I'm going to lift up the engine and hopefully set it down somewhere that way the engine hoist can get to it oh and the reason why we have to lift up the engine is because I don't know if you guys can see but there's a bolt right there um, and there's eight of them, I believe, six or eight of them that hold on the torque converter. And there's a cover underneath here that you can open up to get to the um, torque converter bolts or the flywheel bolts. Um, but I can't get to those until the engine is lifted up. So unfortunately, we have to do that. <laughs> All right guys, we uh, successfully got it down from the crate. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring this uh, engine hoist over to it and see if we can't get it up into the air. off with the um, impact gun but I don't think it's gonna fit in there yeah not having much luck here Fuck. all right guys let's try that again I think I'll be able to get it with this So. All right, there's one. Ah, fuck, I gotta turn it. Shit. Damn, this is so fucking annoying. There's two. 
guys out right there. Torque converter's off. So, ha, huh, shit, that's good news. Okay. Now, let's see what I want to do. Alright, guys, now we're going to take off the flywheel. Damn it. Stay. There we go. Kind of dirty. <laughs> um, Alright guys, so now we're going to take out the injectors. There's six of them, obviously. Um, and it looks like I can get to pretty much all of them besides the one under the throttle um, body right there. Or the throttle, yeah, throttle cable. So it looks like I'm going to have to take off the um, intake manifold a little bit just so I can get to it. So I'm going to set it up for a time lapse and you guys can watch. Alright guys, I got the um, injectors out, um, I thought they said what brand they were, <laughs> um, but yeah, I got the injectors out as you guys can see, and I put everything back together just for, uh, just because I'm not sure when I'll have the injectors, and I don't want to have everything just laying out so I can lose shit, um, so everything's back together, and uh, that's pretty much it for this, this video, um, next I'm going to take off the, uh, the AC compressor, um, and then also, I'm not sure if I showed a picture of the oil pan, but it seems like every single time I order an engine, uh, the oil pan comes fucking smashed in and all. So next video, we'll probably be taking off the AC compressor and uh, taking off the oil pan, beating out the dents, and then resealing the oil pan back onto the engine. So I guess that'll be like kind of like a little tutorial video. Um, also, if you guys are not sure how to do that, um, because you definitely do not want to put an engine with a beat in oil pan into your car because uh, more than likely it's not going to pick up any oil and you guys know what that means. So, so yeah. <laughs> Anyways guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it was kind of all over the place today because I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Um, but yeah guys, stay tuned. Hit that like button if you liked it. Hit that red subscribe button. Let's get to 1300, 1300 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.